this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. Welcome back to my channel. So you may have seen my recent video where I did the unboxing from the wonderful Taperology where they had very kindly sent me a whole box of goodies. Um, so I've done um, a bit more research with my glasses on now. So I'm just going to show you. I have got here the butterflies pack. Now this is called the, I don't know how you pronounce this, Hotu Butterflies Butterflies Vellum Stickers Pack. Um, and this is what it looks like on their website. Now, this is the Shabby, Do Shabby Dabby Doo Dolls Treasure Trove. So hopefully this is going to be, um, you know, working the link. Obviously so far, I have only clicked on it myself. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to actually link that for you guys. And then you'll be able to see directly the stuff that I actually ordered. So I thought, let's come along and have a play with these gorgeous butterflies. As soon as I kind of opened my parcel, I was just incredibly drawn to all of these gorgeous butterflies. Now they are stickers. And I think I did say um, in my previous video, I mean, I don't know why, but for some reason I think I just shy away from stickers a little bit. And yeah, no idea why that is. Um, but I thought let's come along and do some bits and pieces with these stickers and see what we can kind of, you know, in what ways we can use them. So I'm just going to place <clears throat> some of these stickers here. Now this is pale pink food coloured paper and I'm thinking put the butterflies onto the paper so obviously I want to pick ones that hopefully are going to you know complement the the uh, butterfly or uh, the paper so you know predominantly pink ones pinkish um yep so I think yeah like those I think is quite good oh that's quite nice <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just going to stick these down. And like I say, they are actually stickers, which is awesome. Oops, which is awesome if you can actually then peel the backing off and you're not being ridiculous like I am. Oh, come on. Oh no, what is going on here? Yeah, I'm so rubbish with doing my links and things. So I hope that I'm going to be able to link exactly to that treasure trove. Um, but yeah, sometimes not very successful with my links, but I don't know what goes on with that. I think what happens is sometimes, you know, like if you're logged in, the actual link is different to what it would be to, you know, somebody else who's not you. So I sometimes link when I'm logged in as myself and then people say, oh, that, you know, that's not working for me. And it's because... It's, you know, logged in as you, as like the buyer or the seller or, you know, whatever it is. Oh, right. I'm struggling to, um, struggling to do these. Let me just see if I can get at least one. I mean, the crazy thing is, I think in the previous video, I just, you know, played around with one and here we go. Right. Right. We have lift off. So... Now, obviously, I'm not leaving these on the paper, so I can really go, you know, pretty close together and things because I'm going to be cutting these out. So, just want to get as many as I can stuck down. <clears throat> I know, I've gone back to that one that I was struggling with. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Thinking perhaps like that. Now I will probably cut those little antennas off just because I find them pretty fiddly to cut round. So to be honest, yeah, I will just, um, you know, tamper with nature and just cut them off altogether. And I don't have to worry at all about them. Okay. Now I should have really kind of picked the best shape butterflies for cutting out shouldn't I I didn't really think of that until just now so this one looks pretty fiddly to cut out okay oops like that oops <coughs> okie dokie and then this teeny weeny one Oops. 
like that. Okay, so then all I'm going to do oops, is cut all of those out. So, you know, probably not the most fun. So I get it completely if you want to just speed up through this part of the video. Not particularly exciting at all. <clears throat> okay. Right, now I'm going to cut these out. These have been, um, you know, what you call kiss cut around on the vellum. Now, I am not kiss cutting them. I'm, you know, cutting them close to the, the butterflies. I might live to regret that and wish that I had just kiss cut them. But for the moment, let's just properly cut them, you know, as close as we can. Okie dokie. Like that. Okay. There's one. I mean, obviously, you could just use these as, you know, flat stickers. I just thought by putting them onto this paper, it's... Um, <laughs> I was going to say robusting them up. I mean, of course, that's not a proper word, but yeah, it's just kind of like, um, you know, making them more robust. Let's say that. <clears throat> okay. So like that. So I hope everyone's having a good day, doing some nice crafting, doing some fun projects. You know, do let us know below what you're working on. It's always really great to hear what everyone's working on. Oh, I have to say, very exciting this morning. I um, went to the gym. It's the school holidays, so I was able to go a little bit later because I didn't have to be back, you know, for the school run. And, um, yeah, I joined in a circuits class. Now, I haven't done a circuits class for, oh, my gosh, like probably 20 years or something. So I was really nervous about doing it I thought oh my goodness how am I going to get on well <laughs> I did it I did struggle I can't lie it was very 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 hard work um you know because when I go to the gym I tend to mainly do cardio and I don't necessarily do an awful lot of you know strength training and so for me you know it's always a um you know a weak point of mine is my lack of physical strength so, you know, they had lots of stations that were, you know, well, I say quite heavy weights. Heavy weights for me, probably not very heavy compared to, you know, lots of people's weightlifting. Um, but yeah, some of them were kind of like just really quite heavy for me. And so I really struggled. It was, uh, it was intense, let's just say. My goodness, I sweated a lot, a lot, a lot. But, you know, hopefully it was uh, a good workout and it was kind of fun. I mean, the time really did fly by. It was only a half an hour class. So it wasn't like really long or anything. Um, but yeah, the time flies by on those kinds of things, doesn't it? So, you know, because you have no time to even look at your watch or anything and there was no clock up on the wall or anything like that. So the time just whizzed by. I'm so sorry if you can hear that traffic. We've got lots of roadworks going on outside. And, um, you know, when the traffic is there at the tra uh, traffic lights, you know, for the, traf uh, the roadworks, it obviously backs up and ends up kind of outside our house. So I do apologise. Um, yeah, so anyway, the... Uh, oh, what was I saying? What was I saying? I have no idea now. Anyway, something about the circuits class and how hard work it was. So, yeah. But anyway, quite good fun. So, I'll see you tomorrow. I might be in agony tomorrow and not hardly be able to walk. You know, because my um, legs will be so aching. And then I'll think it wasn't quite so fun. But, it's you know, it's quite good to mix things up, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. I mean, they're free, the classes. They're just included in my gym membership, which is, you know, pretty good, isn't it? But like I said, I mean, I've never done a class there before because actually <clears throat> they're at seven o'clock. And, you know, then or even though they're only half an hour class, they drag over slightly, maybe by just a few minutes. But that's then too late for me to get back and obviously get showered and get ready to go on the school run. 
so you know I don't don't normally do them but yeah because it's summer holidays I obviously was um you know able to go a little bit later and then hang around to be able to do the class so yeah it was it was interesting let's just say interesting I mean I don't know whether I'll be rushing to do another one but you know that being said it does kind of highlight the things you need to work on so for me you know I need to work on my strength um you know, I don't think my cardio is actually that bad, but yeah, my strength is definitely not great. So, and to be honest, you know, I know that from other things. I mean, I used to do really a lot of yoga. I don't really kind of do it anymore. Um, you know, occasionally I might do it at home, but I used to go to a, um, a lovely yoga studio. But to be honest, you know, since the divorce and things, I can't really afford to go because it's, yeah, a lot more expensive than the gym membership. So um, yeah, I haven't been able to go. But um, yeah, I used to do a lot of yoga and that was always my problem there as well, was obviously my strength was not great. So anything that required any, any form of strength, I just struggled with. And that obviously is still the same now. Um, even though, you know, I do sometimes do like, you know, some weights and things like that at the gym. Clearly, <laughs> it's not making much difference. So yeah, whether I'm doing the wrong things or I don't know, perhaps I've just not been doing the weights for long enough, I don't know. Well, perhaps, you know, perhaps that's just never going to be my my strong point. Well, I mean, it probably isn't. But, yeah, definitely, um, <clears throat> you know, I need to kind of work on that. Right, so what I thought we could do is just make some little ribbon banners with our butterflies. So I've got these. Now, I've also got this pom-pom trim. I don't know whether this might look weird. I kind of thought we might have been able to incorporate it. I'm not sure as it's going to work I mean it's not the biggest pom-pom trim but it's not that really quite flat one either so if I have it under the butterfly well, it's not too bad I mean it is making them stick up a little bit um, hmm. oh I don't know now uh, let's just have a look I think what I'll do is I'm just going to stick the butterflies on first. So I'm just going to do my dovetail end. And then, yeah, let's just kind of put our butterflies on. Oops. Oh, which were the ones that I was using? Okay. So I'm just going to use my hot glue. Now, <clears throat> I was thinking I would take this to the sewing machine afterwards, which, to be honest, hot glue probably isn't the best glue to use if that's the case because sometimes the sewing machine doesn't really like stitching through the hot glue, but we'll see how it goes. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. I, they've got now glue threads catching all the other butterflies that are all still sat there. So, okay. Like that. And then I was wondering whether we could have a wax seal at the top. Now will I have any suitable colours? Hmm. Maybe a bow at the top might be better. Let's just have a look at these couple of bows. I can't see what colour that is to be honest. Very strange. Oh my goodness how gorgeous does that one look? So yeah I think what I'm going to do is stitch this you know providing that the sewing machine will take it and like I say I mean sometimes it's you know it's not happy when it's going through the the hot glue so I might struggle with that but hopefully just do a stitch straight through the middle and then could just pop just a pretty bow at the top there and how gorgeous is that just to have like on the edge of a page or something like that it's just a lovely way to use those butterflies, isn't it? And also a great way, if you're anything like me and you've got quite a bit of ribbon, it's a fantastic way to use some of your ribbon. So let's just do another one. Hey, gorgeous. Hi. You okay, my darling? Yeah. What have you been up to? Have you been on your tablet? Yeah. <clears throat> have you got any plain paper? Have I got any plain paper? I don't know. Have a look around the room, sweetie pie. 
seem to be inundated with paper everywhere. Uh, yep, looking like a good piece there. Yep. A good piece right there. Right, let's just have a look. And actually, I'm thinking, could layer some of these up. So, like, say I had those. Could. Oh, that looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? Mm. That one's not so bad. I mean, not so bad. I'm not sure that's quite the quite the desired look, but and just pop this one down here. Oops. Oh. Just flicking them around everywhere. I mean, to be honest, now I'm looking at them, I think, oh, you know, maybe, maybe you could just use them as the stickers, but leave the backing on the stickers. So if you wanted to cut out the step of having to glue them down onto a piece, of, not glue them down, but, you know, sticker them, sticker them down onto the piece of paper um, and then fussy cut them out. I'm just wondering whether you could. Oh, gosh, did that the wrong way. Sorry. I'm just wondering whether you could use the stickers themselves. So if I just move this out of the way, I've got some pretty green ribbon here. <clears throat> I'll just take that down. Okay. I'll just cut that dovetail into here as well. So what I'm wondering is instead of actually backing those stickers onto the paper, just kind of thinking, could you actually just have these stuck directly onto the the ribbon because you know you're going to go through this with a um you know with a stitch anyway so it would kind of like hold it in place i don't know i mean for me and i talk about this sometimes but i'm always kind of or not always that's a bit of a sweeping statement but quite often i prefer them when they've lost the fussy cut uh the kiss cut edge so for me i think i would want to lose the fussy cut edge in which case, if I'm cutting around that anyway, you know, I haven't really got anything to lose by sticking them onto some paper. So let's just pop these ones down. <clears throat> so let's just take these. Oops. Oh, I hope the sewing machine's going to go through these because otherwise this is going to have been, you know, a waste of time. Um, not a waste of time. I mean, it looks fine, you know, as it is without being stitched, obviously. But yeah, I would have preferred to be able to stitch through them. So I hope it's going to go through. But like I say, I mean, sometimes it's more temperamental than others. And um, I guess it depends, you know, how thick my hot glue has gone on. And probably what the base layer is as well. So, I mean, that ribbon might not be the best thing to be sewing anyway because obviously that's going to be quite sort of silky and slippery on the machine. So it might not be ideal anyway, and then, you know, it's not going to quite work. Hope I don't ruin it completely. When I try and stitch, I'll, you know, through it. <clears throat> okay. Let's just have a look. So I'm just picking all any green ones that I can find. Again, this is some more green food coloured paper. So just, yeah, embracing the green. Embracing the green. Uh, honestly, what a beautiful selection of butterflies you get with these. You know, there's a ton of them and they're really lovely. Really lovely. So yeah, I would highly recommend these. And they feel pretty nice quality as well. They're not like really flimsy or anything. They're, you know, they're pretty, pretty sturdy, I would say. Okay. Let's go for that one as well. Oh, come on. Come on. Okie dokie. Right. Whoa. Down there. Okay, right. So let's just cut out a few of these. So I'll just cut out 
cut this off of the rest of the sheet. It just makes it a be bit easier for cutting. <clears throat> and then let's just cut this one out. Oh, well, best put my glasses on. Just makes it a bit easier to see what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, I always do say this, but I'm filming ahead. So, you know, if, if it turns out that this is ages before this video goes up, I'm filming ahead and it's the summer holidays. We're just in the first, literally, the start of the summer holidays. So, um, yeah, we've literally only just started them. But we've been having a heat wave and the heat wave seems to have died down now. So we're kind of like a bit cooler today, which actually is a relief because oh, it had got to the point it was just a bit too hot. You know, nobody could bear being outside at all. So today is much better. Much, much better. Okay. <clears throat> now, again, what I do is when I've got any butterflies with like these little long prongs and things, I mean, I just snip those off. Um, you know, because it just makes it easier to cut them out. So, yeah, I'm all for, all for mutilating the butterflies, I've got to say. And I know that the lovely Laura, Laura Gowdry, or, yeah, I think you pronounce it Gowdry, um, if you're watching, I know that you will agree, you know, nothing like a bit of mutilating the butterflies that, um, you know, just to help us cut them out, it's all good. Because, you know, sometimes that just makes things a bit too fiddly to cut out. And to be honest, sometimes it's not just that they're too fiddly, but they can end up looking really strange, you know, <clears throat> when you cut them out. So, um, you know, because they go just like such a skinny little piece that you can barely see them. So sometimes it's just kind of easier and looks better to just cut things off. Thankfully, thankfully, that often seems to work best, so... Okay, right, so we've got these three butterflies. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous are these? Mm-hmm, love how those look. So let's just again pop this one down here. Oops. This one. Oh, I've probably now put too much hot glue on there. Done exactly what I was talking about with the whole, oh, too much glue. The, the sewing machine's not going to want to go through it. Okay, right, so let's just cut that down here as well. <clears throat> okay, right, I'm going to take these to the sewing machine and we'll just see, see how we get on. So I'll be back in a moment, hold on. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine and you can probably see the um, stitching actually went fine. So I'd obviously kind of done quite um, thin, you know, very kind of small amounts of the hot glue because sometimes, like I say, that can be a bit of a, a bit of a sticking point. So yeah, luckily it's gone through absolutely fine. So this is what I'm left with. Now, obviously for, you know, in terms of kind of finishing these off, like I say, I mean, you could just kind of do like something very super simple, like here, we could obviously add the bow. I'm just stretching this out, making sure it's nice and flat. So I'm just going to pop that bow on there and just obviously use the hot glue. Like that. That looks very pretty, doesn't it? <clears throat> and then obviously, you know, you could just pop that onto a page or, you know, on a tag or on a belly band, something like that. You know, just as it is, it looks really, really pretty, doesn't it? And I just, you know, I love incorporating ribbon. I mean, I've got quite a lot of ribbon and, um, yeah, I like to be able to use it up. So, you know, this is quite a nice way to use it and it looks a little bit different. Obviously, you could then expand on this by adding some lace or something to the back of it. So, for example, here, I've just got this lovely lace that, you know, whoops, quite a good complementary colour. So you could do something like that. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? 
so let's just glue this down like that Ooh. I mean that's just lovely isn't it and if it's going at all wrinkly you know because of the lace and then because of the ribbon and things once you glue that down onto a piece obviously you can kind of glue it down smoother and flatter so don't worry too much if it's going you know a little bit on the wrinkly side you can kind of work with that and get rid of the wrinkles once you come to actually use it so that's that one just cut that down there isn't that gorgeous i mean how lovely is that just on the edge of a page absolutely gorgeous isn't it oh loving that absolutely loving that uh, you know i mean if you wanted to make more of it again you could even finish it off perhaps with a bow at the bottom i don't know whether that's the same is that the same hard to say to be honest um you know you could have it like top and tailed obviously with the bows you could have bow at the top you could maybe have a wax seal at the bottom i mean i'm not saying this is the right wax seal but <clears throat> you could you know you could finish it off with something like that I've got some flowers here. You can finish it off with a flower, you know, maybe a flat back pearl or something, you know. But isn't that just the most gorgeous decorative edge? So I'm just going to put that to one side and bring in the others. So I've got the green one and then we've got obviously this one again. So this one, I've got this gorgeous red, well, yeah, red flower. So again, could just put that on there. I've got some crochet lace. So it could add some crochet lace to this or behind behind this <gasps> how lovely does that look really pretty doesn't it so it's just kind of a different twist on the decorative edges really or the other thing that I thought would actually look really good with these is I've got some of these bits of ephemera that I've just literally bundled up with some glue um, just different pieces and to be honest I thought what we could do is just literally glue it onto the edge of that like that which I love how that looks I don't know how that would look with the lace as well it might be a bit confused um, oh I don't know let me just glue this on to the ephemera first and then I can then decide you know whether it looks weird or not so just literally gluing that down onto there Isn't that just so nice? Ooh, so nice. <clears throat> I love how that looks. So then could have, like I say, maybe some lace, put it onto, you know, put it onto some lace or not. I don't know. Mm, the thing is, I'm a sucker for lace. And so as soon as I put it on there, I think, oh, I do like lace. You know, any excuse for a bit of lace is always good. So that's it on the lace and then obviously off the lace like that oh I'm gonna put it on the lace because I just can't resist so yeah just going to glue down the entire length of that ribbon oops like that mm. don't want to burn my fingers like that <clears throat> How lovely does that look and then just obviously trim that lace out just fray that up a bit so it doesn't look quite so straight and neat there we go how lovely is that love how that looks so then we've got the green one let's see what we can do with the green one <clears throat> so what have i got what have i got what have i got Um, hmm. don't know whether this ribbon, you know, being wide, whether much of the lace would be showing. Not really. Yeah, it's not really got much of the lace actually showing if I put it on the lace. I've got some other lace here, which is <clears throat> gathered lace, but I'm thinking I could cut it off of the header. And try this one. Mm, 
don't think really the lace is doing a lot on this one it's got to be said so yeah let's have a look and see what else we could have could have that flower that's quite pretty got lots of wax seals here i think i've got some bee bee wax seals just have a look no, loads of crowns loads of swirly ones oh, i've got a bee here That's quite nice. Let me just see whether I've got any, um, you know, ephemery type bundles, but with greens. <clears throat> I was just doing these last night while I was just watching TV. No, I haven't got any there with greens. So let's just have a look in this packet of the, you know, the ladyly pieces. Just see if I've got any kind of green greenish and biggish preferably I mean that greenish it is biggish Oops. <clears throat> um. oh I don't know now I'm not sure what's um best with this one isn't it weird how you can just do these things and then suddenly you just get stumped and then it's like, oh, I'm not sure now. Nope. Nope, none of that. <clears throat> okay. Could have some doily, I guess, coming out. Coming out behind there. What if we have something like that? It's quite pretty isn't it and what I might do is just take some of my gold little Brian paint stick just do some gold onto the uh, wax seal looks like that yeah that's really nice isn't it so then I think what I might do here is just ink this ribbon up so it's all looking a little bit more grungy and vintage <clears throat> okay looks good oh that looks gorgeous doesn't it yeah i love how that looks i think yeah like that that oops that looks lovely <clears throat> right okay so let's just put the wax seal on Oops. and then we'll just sort of attach it there and then what I can do is I can just go behind there with my glue Okay. Oh, that is so lovely, isn't it? Whoops, just getting rid of those threads. What do we think to that one? Really, really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, love how that one looks. So, yeah, some little ideas there for your vellum butterflies. So, you know, really, really simple, really, you know, quick, really easy. I mean, I just love anything that's quick and easy, as you know. And yeah, these are definitely, definitely, definitely quick and easy. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the finished ones. Let me know below which one's your favourite. I think my favourite is this middle one with the ephemera coming out. Um, although, I quite like this. Although, I quite like that one as well now. So, yeah, bit, <laughs> bit of a scattered, tough choice for me. Um, let me know below which one you think is nicest. And, yeah, I mean, don't forget to check over on the Taperology website and, um, you know, check out kind of the items that I've purchased. And like I say, obviously, these are the vellum butterflies. So, uh, yeah, hope that you like them and maybe it will give you some ideas of bits to do with yours. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.